What's up, guys? Welcome to your Push and Pull Tuesdays. And man, this one's gonna it's gonna get a little heated. All right, today you have to start off with an EMOM every minute at a minute, working your way up to nine minutes. So uh, this doesn't have to be a really heavy uh, weight. Personally, when I do this workout, I'm probably gonna rock maybe 15 pounds. But make the adjustment for you. First minute, you want max reps of dumbbell push-ups in an elevated position. Shoulders pinch back, tight stomach, keeping my elbows tucked in. What I'm gonna do is many quality dumbbell push-ups as possible for the first minute. Whenever that minute runs, because it's on a running clock, I'm then going to my rows. I'm gonna get as many dumbbell rows as I can in the second minute, making sure I'm pinching, I'm not worried about speed. The third minute, I'm gonna do dumbbell sit-ups, tucking this underneath my chin, getting up, getting my elbows over my knees, repeating this continuously for the third minute, all right? So, three rounds of that, because it's every minute of the minute, working your way up to nine minutes all right the second portion yeah it's gonna get spicy you're gonna need a wall ball all right and also a place to do your floor bench press if you want to share with somebody you can but should be plenty of space and opportunity to do this because all you need is the floor and a barbell 35 minutes all right now you're going to see this written out this is not designed for every single person to get this easier i mean easy this is designed for the person that works there ass off they have an opportunity to complete everything all right but everybody should be very proud of what they achieve all right because there's a lot of reps in 35 minutes you're going to start at 14 in the second round you drop down to 13 reps 12 11 your goal in 35 minutes is to complete everything to rep of one all right the following movements first thing is the 14 cows on the assault bike we know those right feet on the pedal hands on the handles get after it Second movement will be the ball pass-throughs with a wall ball. There's two ways I want you guys to do this. Option one, putting that wall ball in between your knees. All right, feet on the ground. All you're gonna do is bring your knees up to a 90 degree. Touch your feet on the ground as well as the ball on the ground. That's one, that's two, that's three, until you get to 14. If you have a little stronger core, you can go here with your feet and then come up and do the same exact thing making sure that your shoulders off the ground. Majority of you, I prefer, honestly, to keep it between your knees because if you're arcing your back, listen to me clearly, if you're arcing your back because you have it between your feet, it's too much for your core, which means it's gonna put it on your back. So majority of you, I prefer you to have the ball on your knees, don't hurt your back. Either way, you have a total of 14 reps. Third movement, you're gonna have the barbell bench press. So this is gonna be done on the ground, not on a bench. So I want those elbows tucked in. Once you get under your bench, I put the recommended weight that I suggest. If you can't get there, get as close as you can. Elbows tucked in, blow out on the way up. Touch the ground with your triceps, blow out. Whenever you get to a total of 14 reps, you'll move to the next movement, which will be the rower. You have 14 cows on the rower. I know guys, stick with me. The last two movements, you have the wall ball throws, which is keeping that ball in an upright position. Power down, hit that target. You'll be doing a total of 14. Whenever you finish your 14th rep with that same wall ball, you would then go into your Russian twist. Left, right is one, all right? You again go to 14. Everything I just completed was the first round. That was 14 of everything. And then you do 13 of everything and 12 and 11 and 10. So my suggestion to you is when the three, two, one takes place on this 35 minute workout, be aggressive know your rest at the end of the workout so make sure you push because the person to your left and right is probably going to be dependent on your energy love you guys reserve your class space you've seen the class has been popping we'll see you there